Why, well, welcome back to my channel. This is Wanda from Wonder and Logic. And once again, I forgot to press play. Oh, my days. Right, so, from my previous speed paint, I've got some feedback. That feedback was in regards to the vase. And as a result, we are studying vases today. So far, my experience went okay. I was learning to how to replicate forms on the vase, how to smooth them over, how to make them look more realistic. Uh, what I noticed is that as I was going on throughout my vase studies, they got harder and it was annoying. And I thought to myself, ah, oh, why did I do this to myself? Because one of my main critiques was, what was the light source? Where was the light source? How, you know, what was, you trying to get out of the light source, which direction, that sort of thing. And then I realised after the critique that I still don't understand light sources. Light sources are kind of hard. So just to do a sort of mini practice, I decided to gather some images off of the internet, either, I think this was either Pinterest or Google. And then in doing so, I put them into Critter, resized them, and then I think these are all in colour. And then instead of putting them, leaving them in colour, I did a colour layer and then switched that layer to black so that all the images were black and white. And then, yeah, from there, I decided to just go ahead and do my best to try and replicate them, get a sort of feel for them, you know, shapes, forms, that sort of thing. And in the end, I think I did quite well I'm pretty happy with the results as time went on I did get very tired of it very quickly I don't particularly like studying this sort of format but it is very helpful because everything's just there you have the reference you have the tools at your disposal why not and though I don't particularly like this method at the moment I think I might need to change the subject matter and then in doing so I might get a better experience but yeah as you can see I'm using the marquee tool I believe it's called and then the gradient tool along with a few brushes that I have that I use quite often just bulking in the rough shapes and then add in light on top of it I found that that was easier is to go dark then go light actually no I don't because sometimes it was completely light and then I went dark it depends on what the hell I'm doing or what's in the background or how I'm replicating it as I was focusing more on the forms of these plant pots I wasn't pretty hung up about the flowers those I sort of just squiggled in after I did the shadows and everything. Hmm. Watching this back is quite interesting. I think I put this at 30 times speed. Just so I wouldn't have to talk a lot. Yeah, I was quite impressed. When you look back on it, during the moment, it's a struggle. But looking back on it, I'm pretty, pretty happy. You know, it's quite interesting to see your process, as I've said before, and how you go from point A to point B. But as time was going on, I decided it's not about perfection. I could probably stay and do this for ages, but at the end of the day, I don't have time to do that. I don't have the patience. You know, everything sort of needs to be concise. And then basically I'll learn I'll get better as time goes on this last vase not this one but the one that's coming up mm, I spent the least amount of time on it I just could not be asked I don't know why I chose such a complicated vase I mean look at it it's got ridges it's got lighting it's got form and that background oh that background that background was annoying I mean, you can see as I'm fiddling about with it, it doesn't, it doesn't look as if I'm struggling. But believe me, I 
am madness and the books are crooked which is fine you know crooked books and at one point because i'm using obs i lost some of the footage but i managed to you know be a little tech genius and fit them all together and this resulted in this just on the six minute video which i'm quite happy with in the future I'll probably be doing, as I said, a bit more of these. I think experience wasn't bad and it has gotten me some sort of mileage. Maybe not the mileage I want, but I did sort of get an understanding of forms a bit better. Which is good, that's all I can ask for. As you can see, this is the end. Thank you so much for watching.